y'all. It's Sunday. Watching football. The Saints is playing right now. And the ball just got intercepted. Bruh. Ugh. They got him at... Oh, they're playing the Buccaneers, y'all. It's the second quarter. It is six to three right now. Buccaneers now have the ball and at the three yard line. Come on, boys. Uh, and it's a touchdown. Oh, man. Just in case you can't tell, I am for the Saints right now. Yes. Who that? Buccaneers is what's that to just score. It's all right, boys. It's second quarter. We still can come back. Still can come back. And it's good. All right, guys. What's popping? Today is Sunday. I have, what have I done today? Today, we got up, made breakfast. I don't think I filmed that because I was just trying to cook my waffles. And then, ooh, the lighting is weird in here. But then, um, we cl I cleaned up the house. I did the bathrooms. I mopped, cleaned the tubs, the toilets, the dishes. So the house is right now is currently clean. Um, currently, then after that, um, we went and, where did we go? Did axe throwing. It was a surprise. Um, surprise date. So we went axe throwing, which is really, really fun. I'm probably going to insert some clips right now. challenging that I thought it was gonna be it is all in your elbow you guys all in your elbow not in your wrist and you have to do a lunge and you have to throw it took me a while to get it and after like an hour I finally got it then I have currently been cleaning out my drawers I'm gonna try to clean out my um get rid of clothes that I haven't been wearing I'm trying to put some on my put some on my posh mark also um just get rid of some that I have because I have so many clothes like um, currently, every room in the house has clothes of mine. So, yeah, I've been able to get rid of two big bags. Let me show you one. Can you see how big this bag is, y'all? This is one of them. And I got two of these currently full of clothes, y'all. Full of clothes. And I still have two closets full of clothes. Um, the third one has half of the second closet has, well, excuse me. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry. Two closets in here that's full of clothes. The third closet half of it's full and then the fourth um closet that's in the other bedroom is full of just camera equipment but both of my dre my dresser and my chester is full of clothes i only have one drawer that's empty now let me show you guys one drawer yeah my goal is to at least get three drawers down and compile all my stuff to two closets not in three so i've been working pretty hard guys i just didn't realize how much stuff i had so that's what i've been trying to do today been successful sort of kind of i've been taking it easy because it gets kind of overwhelming if you don't if you know what i mean it's kind of overwhelming so that's what i've been doing cleaning up cleaning up my closets tomorrow i'm probably going to pick up and try to condense some more and then i'm probably going to tackle my closet here in the den because i have jackets in there that i probably don't wear i have picture frames in there that i need to get rid of so i'm just trying to like condense my house because i i don't think i purged i have purged my home in over four years so you can only imagine how much it is so this month of january the goal is to clean up all the closets in the house
Hold on. All right, I'm back. Um, and February is to clean out the garage. So January is all the closets. February is clean out my garage because I got so, I have so many Christmas decorations. I need to condense that stuff. I have so many Thanksgiving decorations. Like I just have so much stuff and it's crazy. So I want to condense um, all that in February. So that should take care of the closets in that. So I've been a purged like majority of the houses, majority of the house. So after I do that, I think I'll feel a little better. Um, just not trying to become a hoarder. So I need to purge because if I haven't worn it or I haven't used it's kind of it's kind of crazy right now to say if I haven't worn it in a year because last year was COVID. Well, beginning of COVID. So we really didn't wear too much. So I don't know how to judge that. But usually my rule is if I haven't used it or worn it in a year, it has to go. But right now it's kind of like, girl, you ain't doing nothing last year because it was COVID. But anywho, so that's what I'm doing um, a few months. So for dinner, we went to Blaze. Um, I'm just gonna show you the trip there. We're not eating meat. Um, the pizza was excellent. So yeah, that's what we had for dinner with um, Blaze, as you just saw. And currently, I'm back at the house. I have my planner here. Um, I bought a 2021 planner, but I have yet to really write anything in this thing, besides maybe the first week of January. I think there was something in there, if that. But um. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do my planner because I want to schedule some videos. I want to schedule like some edits and schedule like our date nights. Um, excuse me. We do this thing that's like two, two, two. So every two weeks we go. Um, every two weeks, sorry. Every two weeks we go out on a date. Every two months we take a weekend trip. So um so right now it's January so February and we've chose the um last week of the month to kind of go on um our weekend trips so currently the second week of January and the fourth week of January is date night so we went today yeah today so today we did our date which was the um axle throwing and then we just went to Blaze Pizza and then um two weeks for now we'll have one more so in February not the second week but the fourth week we'll go somewhere for the weekend and then every two years we'll take like a week vacation together therefore we have like scheduled date nights we have scheduled weekend trips we have scheduled on um, weeks um vacation however say if we have an anniversary anniversaries don't count birthdays don't count um and of course holidays don't count so even for our birthdays if we want to do something for our birthdays for a week or for a weekend it doesn't come in between our two 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 so that's what we're doing it's called a two 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 i actually got it from a friend um, I don't know if she wants to say her name, but I got it from her. So she wanted to tell me about it. So it just keeps us making sure that we still put each other first. It also makes sure we're scheduled. So we have each other on our schedules just in case life, because life can get busy and we don't want to, you know, we still want to keep that connection between us two and put us, um, put our, put us first. So any, if anybody wants us to do anything on that weekend, sorry, I can't do it. You better catch me on the first or catch me on the third because we got stuff to do. So, uh, today was that. So, that was pretty fun. Um, but, yeah. So, I want to put that all in my planner. So, I want to schedule it in my planner. We actually have a Google Calendar. I have our Google Calendars link where we have um, 
it's a Google calendar just for us. So therefore I put our date nights on there. I put where we're going, the restaurants. But if it's like today was a surprise, I can't put it on there. But I still just schedule it for there. So therefore on your calendar, on your phone, or if you're looking at it on your um, computer, you know, we know that that weekend, just in case we forget, is taken because it's on our schedule. So I want to do that. Even though I have the Google calendar, I like writing. So I want to put that actually in my calendar. I'll show, on my, in my calendar, I actually want to put... Um, I just want to put in here. I want to put my YouTube video scheduling and like um, the days that I'm going to edit. So I want to get more like organized in that section um, because currently I kind of edit almost Monday through Friday because I'm doing almost a vlog a day. And the reason I'm doing a vlog a day is because I want content up every week. So I'm having to vlog more often right now because I'm trying to get ahead of myself. So therefore I just have a video together if that makes sense. So that's what I'm doing um so i'm gonna do that and then tonight i'm probably gonna edit after in between of watching the football oh, i didn't miss the, i didn't miss the touchdown but <laughs> field goal's good now it is 14 to 10. who that who that say they gonna beat them saints oh 13 my bad 13 to 10. all right breeze Captain with the four stars. All right, so yeah. So that's what I'm gonna do tonight. I wanna get more organized, so that's why I'm working on editing, working on my calendar, watching the football game. Um, but let me tell you guys, today I had like a serious moment. I got on the scope today, and the scope said a number that I was like, what, why? I have been working out five days a week. Um, I, at least an hour a day. I have been eating right. I've been doubling my activities. Um, and like the scale seemed to just go up and literally I had a moment where I just shed it like I had literally closed myself in my closet Sit there for like maybe three minutes and like shed it to tears. Um, and then I had to tell myself girl Get it together. It's technically only been two solid weeks um So I could be it could be water weight. It could be your muscles don't give up. So, if you're if you're just not starting your starting your weight loss journey, the first week can be challenging. The second week, you know, if you don't see any results, really take into consideration what you're eating. Like for me, I had to look at what I'm eating. I'm like, okay, I'm not even eating meat, so that should be really helping me out. But I haven't eaten bread, so maybe I need to cut back on my bread. Maybe I need to cut back on my sugar. But I want to make it more realistic. So even if you're on the second week, it's so easy to give up a motivation, like to lose your motivation. I'm telling you. So if it is okay to feel like, oh my God, what's going on? And shed a tear, shed your tears. So I'm not the person. If you feel like crying, go ahead and cry. Get it out. Then when you finish, wipe your eyes, blow your nose, and get yourself together. So I had to really tell myself, um, Jennifer, Monique, listen, we didn't cry. What are we going to do about it now? What are we going to do? Sitting in this closet crying is not going to change the situation. You need to evaluate how you're working out. You need to evaluate what you're eating and how much water it takes. So ne next week, I'm going to kind of cut back on some of my bread. Maybe not have too much carbs because I've been carving it out lately. Um, maybe cut back on that a little bit. But, you know, I want to make it more realistic because even when I'm done with not eating meat, I'm going to incorporate meat back into my, my diet. So I still need to make sure that I'm I'm having like that healthy connection with food uh, for me because I know with me what I'm happy I eat, when I'm sad I eat, when I'm depressed I eat. Like today, I got sad. But guess what? I couldn't eat. So um, I was like, you know what? I can't have any sweets. So um, I just had to really just renew my mind refocus myself go ahead and schedule my workout classes for this week and really look into what i'm eating maybe i think i had a lot of stuff in sodium too because i've been eating a lot of processed vegan food so that can take a big big toll too sodium it got me holding weight so you know if you are in your weight loss journey and you feel like the scale isn't moving at first i say reevaluate you, everything you're doing you're eating or you're working out if you're drinking more drink more water and if you're doing all that be patient with your body because it, it didn't take you um a week or two weeks to gain 20 pounds or 30 pounds or 40 pounds or 50 pounds or five pounds or 100 pounds however many pounds that you try you have gained it's not going to take it's going to take more than two weeks to get that weight back it's going to take more than two weeks to get your body back on the right track to get you renew your mind and your relationship with food all over again so, give yourself time. Give yourself grace. 
still love yourself. You are beautiful no matter what size you are. We're not losing weight just to say we lose weight. We're losing weight. Well, I'm losing weight and you should be losing weight to be healthy. We don't want any diabetes. We don't want high blood pressure. Anything that we can prevent from us just not eating as much, we need to do it. You know, we want to live a long and healthy life. Like everything that God has planned for me, I can't I can't do it if I have high blood pressure or I'm on my high blood pressure meds. High blood pressure meds, which I've been on. You can't even be out in the sun or you're going to get exhausted or, you know, dizzy. So, you know, I can't do everything that I'm called to do if I'm overweight because I'm not able to endure it. I can't stand up for long because I'm breathing too heavy. I can't talk for long because I'm breathing too heavy or I can't catch my breath. So, you know, right now, the goal should not be to lose weight, to stun on Instagram, to flex or whatever it is, to lose weight, to get a two-piece. Two the goal is to be healthy. We want to be healthy. Whatever your healthy is, some of us is never going to be a size two, size four, size six. I don't even have a size anymore that I just know I want to be active, daily active. I want to become a part of my life to make sure my heart is strong, my lung is strong, and basically I'm it to endure. So I said all that to say. If you've been battling, like if you should get on this journey of not just working out or you're trying to find a reason to work out, think about your future. The way, the weight that you are, the how your body is, are you going to be able to endure? Are you going to be able to live the life that you truly want to live the way your body is now? If your answer is no, it's time to change now. Do stuff little by little. Don't go drastic. Excuse me. It could be just maybe cut if you drink six sodas a day maybe cutting it down to three this week maybe two next week maybe one the week after do it slowly so you can be able to endure whatever it is do it slowly incorporate it every bit helps right every bit helps so that's my motivation to you so i am currently getting ready to watch this game because if the saints score or if the buccaneers Score. Should I say bucking your score and I'm up in here vlogging? I'm gonna lose it. So I know y'all don't want to hear me hollering. So keep that motivation in mind, guys. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you love this vlog. Um, you caught maybe two parts of my life this weekend. I like to catch the reason I don't really record a lot or vlog a lot on the weekends is because both of us are off on the weekends and that's the time we have together and I like to incorporate, I don't want to, you know, invade, I want to keep that, I don't know, not private, but intimate between us and make sure we have no interruptions because we're also working on building our relationship and you know the new norm the norm for us and a routine for us and you know i just want to make sure that he knows he has my undivided attention just like i have his so that's the only reason why i don't vlog um too much on the weekends or i just vlog like a little bit and he's totally for he doesn't really care but it's a me thing so y'all i can't keep my i can't take my eyes off the tv so yeah guys i'm gonna end this vlog here so i can go ahead and do what i'm supposed to be doing um happy martin luther king day or by the time y'all see this vlog it's gonna be over oh i also did i forgot to tell you guys um saturday we saturday i went and we did volunteering where we picked up trash um for martin luther king day um i think i have some pictures if so i will start the pictures here so yeah that was pretty fun volunteering to um help so I, I challenge everybody to do something to help someone else it'll make you feel amazing so yeah that's what i did so on that note i'm going guys love ya until I, until always and as always be blessed and whatever you do make sure you always do it divine